everyone so today's look is going to be a nice look for fall with these perfect bold lips now you don't have to go bold to create this look you don't have to use the shades that I use to create this look or the palette you can just go into your makeup collection and just pick out some colors that look similar to it and you can just go ahead and take it out and be happy and use it so yay I'm back in my room everything is still not the same so like my vanity side which is like right here in front of my room it is changed and uh it's just my bed still the same in the middle of october or in the beginning of november my room will be different so i cannot wait for that and then after that i have to start back getting into the routine of filming and then i have to get used to a whole entire new background new setup and everything else so this is the look here it's just like a combination of fall and i absolutely love it because it's more like kind of a day look but it can be a less of a dramatic day look if you do not use red lips so i used my lorac pro palette and i have a few tutorials on it if you don't have the lorac pro palette you can have the you can use the yay um this is pretty much a nice little updo that I did and it goes well with the look. Um, I love it. So hope you guys love it and hope you guys enjoy it. And here's let's get started. Alright, so I'm taking my Lorac Pro palette behind the scenes primer and this came with the palette itself. I'm just gonna apply it all over to the eye and this is gonna keep the shadows to last all day. Next, I'm going to take my NYX or NYX concealer in the jar, and this is in the shade Skin Tone. And I'm just going to apply this on top of the primer. And basically, this is just like the jumbo pencils that NYX has that everyone raves about. It's just going to allow the eyeshadows to pop, and it's also as a primer as well. So I love using two different primers. So next, I'm going to take the Lorac Pro palette itself, and I'm going to take the shade Sable. I'm going to apply Sable into the crease and I'm just going to use windshield wiping motions because with this look you really want the colors to actually pop but also make sure they're very well blended so I'm just going to take my brush back and forth into the crease and just play with the colors just a little bit to get that perfect shade so off camera my camera died and I just recharged it so I'm going to take I already applied some NYX base and milk so I'm going to take is gold and I'm just gonna apply gold all over to the lid it is a pretty color like this color is the bomb.com and I'm just gonna take and apply all over to the lid when it out very very well even in the middle half of the outer V then I'm gonna take Garnet which is a pretty rose gold color I'm just gonna apply kind of towards the end of the outer V just a little bit to give it just a little pop now I'm gonna take shade cream and I'm gonna apply this as my brow bone highlights and I'm just gonna take it with the same brush that we used to apply the shade gold and garnet I'm just gonna apply it and I'm just gonna take it and just blend it away you don't really want a harsh line it's gonna come down to applying your brow bone highlight and I'm gonna take the color in the inner corner as well just to wake your eyes up just a little bit and tone down that gold. Now I'm going to take the same blending brush and I'm going to take black and I'm going to take it and I'm just going to add just a little bit of definition. If you guys are watching me for a while, you know I have to have the smoky eye. Just a little, not that much, just something to stand out. I feel like the look is not complete without a darker shade in the crease. This part is really easy. All thing you have to do is use a smudge eyeshadow brush. And I'm just taking the shades that we use onto the eyes, onto the lower lash line. And we're just going to place it. Try not to get into your eye very much. And try not to pull your eye, your lower lash line down because you're going to cause premature wrinkles. And just repeat the same exact shades that you applied into the crease. So next, and also to your eyes. <laughs> so next we're just going to take Elf Liquid Eyeliner. And this is just their studio eyeliner, I think. And I'm going to just take it and create a little winged eye. 
and not too bold. And then I'm going to take my favorite mascara at the moment. And it's the Maybelline The Rocket Express Mascara. I'm using regular proof, not waterproof. I really like regular proof formula. <laughs> so, and then after I apply a few little coats, I apply my foundation off camera. So first I'm going to take Maybelline Strike Pose Lipstick. It's like a core color. And I thought this would give the perfect pop. And then I'm going to... Yep, strike a post. And then I'm going to take Elf's Lustrous Lipstick in the shade Cherry Tart, which is a dollar. I'm going to apply it on top of it. This look, this look can be used in two ways because you can change it up by changing your lip color. So once again, if you did not see or hear the lip color very well, I use on my lips is... It, Maybelline Strike a Pose, and I got this for a dollar fifty at Big Lots. So this is the Maybelline Strike a Pose, like a pretty core color, and I will definitely do a WordPress review on this, and it has some swatches and everything else on WordPress. And also for the gloss, I use Elf's Luscious Lipstick. It's like a liquid lipstick, and this is in the shade. Cherry Tart. I thought in the past I did a video on these, on these lipsticks, but if I did, I will link it below. So, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to check out my newest channel, X Deanna D. I am getting ready to film a video after this one because you want to see that video. You have to be subscribed to that channel because I'm going to get deep into this topic that I'm going to talk about. But enough of that, and don't forget to check all my other websites that you can find me below if you want your question to be answered. And that's pretty much it. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!